Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to talk about Motu interface. That is Motu Express 128. I used to work with several interfaces. Uh, I used to work with this one. It's an audio and I have small one as well here. It is uh, Motu uh, fast line, two input, two output, two input, two output. And then I have several other keyboards connected through my USB connection. Uh, and I use some uh, connection with my uh, MIDI, uh, MIDI and audio interfaces like RME Babyface. I have that in my some of previous video. I have it here. And I have here MR816. But uh, I wanted to organize all my connections on the best way. And I decided to buy this Moto. MIDI interface, especially for keyboard, uh, older keyboard, they don't have USB connections, so I want to connect them and work with them through MIDI connection and control them with, templates, uh, with template from my software Cubase or Pro Tools. Now, this is that model interface where I bought, th that I bought. I was exploring which kind of interface will uh, do the best job to me. I was counting how many keyboards I want to control. Uh, that di they don't have USB connection and presently in this room I have five of those keyboards and I have uh, two of those keyboards that I want to control. They have USB connection but they have some uh, better options if I'm controlling them through this Moto interface. That's why I bought this MIDI interface that has eight MIDI inputs. It is actually here. Eight uh, MIDI inputs is seven here and one on, fr on front and eight MIDI outputs. Uh, output number eight uh, you can use on back and on front. Now, that is the back side of that interface. Now I will show you front side is there. You, as you can see, I have output uh, number eight here and I have MIDI input number eight here as well. Or activity I can see on my front panel. Whenever I am sending or receiving messages, it will show me uh, uh, activities by blinking lights on uh, particular numbers. So that is that Modo interface. I did install driver for Modo interface, Moto interface 128 and it was easy job and right away after installing driver I tried it and it works perfectly well without any problem, any interruption and all my connection they work perfectly well. I bought it at Long and McQuaid store uh, it, and it was priced through $199 plus uh, plus uh, plus uh, tax uh, something about $300 and I'm extremely satisfied. Now I will show you which keyboards I did connect here in this room and in some uh, other rooms and I will show you how they works. So I will close this for now and I will open my Cubase template with several keyboards connected through interface. So uh, let me start from the beginning. On the beginning uh, first of uh, this keyboard that is connected to this interface is my SD90. SD90 is here. Now uh, as you can see it is playing SD90. So SD90 is here now. I have two kinds of connection that I can do with SD90. I can do USB connection and send messages through USB or I can do regular MIDI connection that I prefer. Why? Because if I'm using USB connection I have to go to menu, I have to go to uh, menu and then MIDI and I have to engage USB MIDI keyboard connection. I don't want to do that uh, uh, because uh, when I'm working with my uh, SD90 Sometimes I have to use media button to transfer information. Whenever I use media button, it will automatically disconnect my MIDI USB connection. So, and I don't want to think about that. And I just connected my uh, SD90 through connection. If I go to my studio and if I go to uh, my uh, option, MIDI device manager option, and if I go to, uh, you can see that uh, is connected output to uh, uh, Express 128 port number 6. On port number 6 I am controlling this guy. 
Now I can do several controls with this guy. If I choose that channel, if I go to see uh, my template, I can see that I can control this guy to general MIDI voices control, to preset voices control, to user voices control, and general MIDI voices uh, um, made by me, uh, I mean all, all this template, template I made them, but I uh, organized them uh, as a general MIDI voices in group of instruments. So instead of going to a regular general MIDI voices and through the banks, because if I go through bank, all instruments are there. But n instead of that, I want to go, for example, to find fast, good, uh, uh, fat, I fast instrument, I go just to my organization go to guitars and I have all my guitars from general MIDI banks but sorted together here in this group of guitars. So that's why I made it all that way. So as I told you, through, through general MIDI voices I am controlling my uh, uh, general MIDI voices. All voices, see? my voices that are assorted by general MIDI banks as you can see them in a manual how they appear in table of uh, instruments for Catron SD9 and then uh, if I want to control global uh, uh, preset voices then I go to my preset voices it is on MIDI channel number one and if I press here romantic it will show picture of romantic piano here if I press here clavinet it is picture of my clavinet here, right away on screen, and it is clavinet. So my key, key start button is engaged, and now when I play that on global channel, it is actually if it's engaged. So now in this case, I can do live recording right away. I can do live recording because uh, my uh, global channel is engaged and I can separate tracks and I will do that in another project where I uh, uh, made project to be able to control global connections and separate tracks MIDI recording. I will talk about that in a, another uh, video. Now, Genos. I, I'm actually playing everything with Genos because uh, my Genos here is, is master keyboard. Control is through Cubase, Genos is master keyboard, and even Genos will not play before I engage channel where is Genos, and I have to press record enable, and now my Genos is working. And now I have control over Genos through my, through my sound engine, so. And that is Genos playing, actually. See, yeah. Genos is playing. Now, I have two control of Genos. I made two templates for Genos. I have general MIDI control of Genos, and I have uh, control of Genos in, uh, in uh, my mode, uh, in my uh, arrange arrangement mode. That's why I have here in studio more option MIDI device. You can see Yamaha Genos, and Yamaha Genos T General MIDI. So I can control Genos on two ways, as I told you, in live performing or general MIDI, uh, as a general MIDI keyboard. I made two templates for that. Now let us go from Genos to Integra 7. Integra 7 is my Roland keyboard. It is over there. It is second in line here, over there, Integra 7. And now. I can control all my voices of Integra 7. Remember here, big rig guitar. So, everything is there, controlled by Cubase. I'm playing on Genos. Next is Motif. Motif is here. You can see activity on Motif. Motif is playing. It is connected through USB connection. Uh, next in line is uh, DTX in another room. And I'm controlling there. I'm controlling. Uh, 
Uh, next, what I'm controlling here is cord M1. Cord M1, and I am controlling cord M1. Uh, let me put it on channel number one, and let me put it uh, universe sound, known sound. <laughs> One. And you can see, Corgan 1 is playing. Now, Corgan 1 is keyboard that I have to connect through my uh, MIDI interface Motu because it doesn't have USB connection. Now, next keyboard is Yamaha DX7. I can decide what I want to control. Do I want to control combination or do I want to control my voices? So in this case, I am controlling uh, uh, Rome voices uh, from 1 to 32, uh, uh, two, and now uh, Rome voices from 33, and I can control card voices, I can control combination. You have just to make your uh, template. So I made this template with my own voices so that I know uh, which kind of voice do I have here there uh, to control. Now next one in line is Tear Rock. Uh, Tear Rock is here. Then next uh, Tear Rock is actually uh, down. This one here, silver. This one, silver. And then uh, after T Rock, I can control Roland JV 1080. That is this one down, Roland JV 1080. So it is here down. You can see here activity. You can see that a button whenever I play MIDI, it will big button here. It is on this place and as well on my MIDI interface. So I know which channel is controlling and I know which instrument I'm playing. And it is that Roland here. And I can now uh, go. Now, beside the Roland, I can control Nano Synth. Nano Synth is there and I can change and you can see nano synth is here in the middle with purple buttons then you can see activity down it is showing that is MIDI channel number two it is showing that is uh, activity on that instrument just on that instrument and it's connected in my uh, mix roll mix uh, it is stereo 10 channels stereo mixer plus connected to my allen and heat and plus connected to my audio cards so there is uh, now next is nano piano there is next is nano bass then next is cork background or no uh, voice that is engaged here on Korg. Now it's disengaged. Now, so as I mentioned here, I have several keyboards that are connected on this connection. I have one John, uh, Roland JV1080, uh, Nano Bass 2, Nano Synth uh, 3, Nano Piano 4. I have here a uh, Tier Rack uh, 5. Uh, I have Roland Integra 6 and I have here Yamaha Moti 7. Uh, but Yamaha and Roland Integra, they are uh, working through USB. Five other keyboards are connected through a MIDI connection and Quadverb, uh, choosing MIDI uh, effects, is as well connected through MIDI connection is uh, 6 and uh, this one, uh, TC Helicon, is as well connected. Uh, so. Beside of those keyboards here connected, 
I have a here keyboard one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so, and I have over there three keyboards, and I have upright piano and two keyboards in Bosnia. So, <laughs> I didn't connect those keyboards in Bosnia through me through this motu. Okay, now uh, as you can see, this uh, MIDI connection through this uh, interface is working very well. Uh, now. In any project, if I'm working with project, I, you can see that I have my all keyboards uh, organized here in MIDI Device Manager. They are here organized with names, and all of them are connected. All of them are connected uh, through uh, USB connections and my Motu MIDI interface. So in any time when I'm working on project, I can choose any of those instruments and I can uh, just go for sound that I want to use from those instruments. And I have several uh, another uh, actually uh, instruments. Uh, I have FM8, I have Albino, I have Battery, I have, uh, 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 let me move for example this. Uh, I have some synthesizers here. Uh, I have e uh, easy drums, contact, massive. So I have couple uh, another instrument that I like to use. So I gave you idea why is good idea to buy Moto MIDI interface, especially if you have uh, keyboards uh, with uh, regular MIDI connections that uh, they cannot actually uh, connect through USB and they cannot send messages through USB. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day. Now I'm going to disconnect that video recording and see you in my next video.